This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnston. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 161, baby. Oh yeah. In today's episode, I speak to Clarification Charlie about the big news. That's right, the new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Mr. Boris Johnson. Um, This episode is a bit strange in some ways because we recorded it on the day the news came out. And when I listened back to it, I realised that we're both a bit lost for words. It's difficult to know what to say in these horrible circumstances. Um, But we think of a few things, nothing particularly intelligent. So if you're looking for a kind of in-depth political analysis this isn't the podcast for you. But if you want to hear a few of the stupid things that Boris Johnson said, then this podcast is definitely for you. Um, Anyway, before we start, remember, my book is now available on Amazon for the huge price of $4.99. So if you want to do some rock and roll reading and help the Rock and Roll English Project, please go ahead and buy the book. It's an ebook available on Amazon, but if you download the Kindle app on your phone or tablet, you will be able to read it and you will be able to read and rock. Anyway, here is the conversation. I will speak to you again at the end. Happy listening. Clarification, Charlie. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you, Martin. How are you? Always fantastic, Charlie. Always fantastic. Even more fantastic. Now I can hear your wonderful feminine voice. Had a few few of those smelly boys on I recently. Know. I know. There's been... There's been a lot of male representation and not very much female. Yeah, although you have got some help with the female um, part and the feminine thing now with Substitute Sabrina. So yes. you know, you're not alone anymore, I thank know. God. Yeah, I know. To take care of all of us smelly boys. Mm. Um, anyway, how do we usually start the show? Uh, with a review. Had to think about that for a while, didn't you? It's been so long. It's been a really long time. It has, hasn't it? Notice there we use some nice present perfect. It's been a long time. Started in the past, still in progress. Um, Yes, with a review though. Do you think we have a review? Yes. Correct. If you had got that wrong, I would have really said how stupid you are notice some third conditional there as well because i did mention it before that's why i'm surprised you had to think about it for quite a while but did you i mean i literally told you that less than a minute ago less than a minute ago (laughs) i I genuinely have no recollection of that did you no you didn't actually just say that I well before we hit record yes um i would like to say it's because you have a memory of a goldfish which remember is someone that cannot remember things very well but I think the truth is you just weren't listening so thank you (laughs) (laughs) Um, so that's always good to know Um, anyway yes we do have a review and it is from Andre Cesar Cardoso Rosa I'm sure as always my pronunciation is perfect with that name so if it's not though Apologies. Um, And it says, so a lot of weeks in a row without a review. Let's stop this fucking dry patch. (laughs) Yes, I'm with you. Um, Notice some rock and roll vocabulary there as well. Dry patch, like when you're going through a period without any success. Um, Anyway, it says, I've just listened to all of the episodes of Rock and Roll English, which has helped me a lot to ameliorate my listening skills i did not know that word i had to look that up on google did you know that word clarification charlie no i didn't i thought you were going to lie there i mean that that's a that's some real rock and roll vocabulary posh vocabulary so that's why i'm surprised you don't know it clarification Mm. charlie but never mind we're both stupid um (laughs) anyway it goes on to say it is a very fun and lovely podcast although i hated martin for a while for getting dan the man brackets the soul of this podcast i mean he must be joking there no smiley face but he must be joking um for getting dan the man out the show but this lovely bitch is back 
Calling down the man a bitch is something I like. It's pretty rock and roll there, isn't it? <laughs> it's very rock and roll. Um, and everything is fine again. And I kind of like Martin again. At least this argument has brought us some lovely people to the show, such as Clarification Charlie, The Hellraiser, Boom Boom and Corporal Coma as well. I'm probably missing some. Only substitute Sabrina, but you did very well there. Love you guys, but stop saying shit about royalty and Brazil. Clarification, Charlie's always saying shit about royalty. Oi. I would never do something like that. Love you all for your great work. Oh, and this review is here because I listened to this on Spotify and not iTunes. So stop taking the piss out of us and accept it that not everyone uses it. I'm sure he's talking about iTunes there. Kidding, guys. So that is it. Keep on rocking. Oh, yeah, baby. Thank you very nice. much for that. Andre, you got a mention there, clarification, Charlie. Thank Lovely you. people. Yeah, I like oh, that. Thank yeah. you very much, Andre. You are very rock and roll. Very rock and roll. Um, anyway, it's time to move on to the show. And do you know what we are talking about today, clarification, Charlie? No, I don't. But again, you might have told me and I just wasn't listening. <laughs> <I> act- <laughs> it's good to know. Thanks for your honesty. But I actually haven't told you. Um, we are talking about the big news which happened today on the day that we are recording this, the new Prime Minister of oh. England. Oh, right. OK. Yay. Politics. My <laughs> favourite thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very topical show. This a topical show, something that's talking about what's happening um, in the news at the moment. So if people don't know, it's going to be Boris Johnson. If you don't know who Boris Johnson is... Just look at a picture of the man and that will tell you everything you need to know. I mean, you should go if you want to see a quality picture of our new prime minister, just Google Boris Johnson zip line. (laughs) I've not actually seen that. So I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. That's the thing though. there are so many ridiculous things about him. I mean, it's difficult to know where to start this. I could tell you other videos or pictures to look at him i remember when america voted for trump and i thought those bloody americans and now we've ended up with boris i mean even the name boris what kind of name is that um but yeah we're going to be talking about a lot of the stupid things that he's done i mean the first stupid thing is just his face (laughs) i mean his his mum and dad are probably to blame for that i'm not sure his face his hair I mean, we already mentioned his name, Boris, although his surname, Johnson, quite similar to mine. Remember, I'm Johnston, mm. um, although many, many, many times in my life, people have spelt my name Johnson without the T. And if there's one way to really hurt me, it's to write my name without a T in it. Believe me, Jesus. And well, as I say, wasn't there a famous sportsman who was Martin Johnson? Yes, there was. The he was. Ru- is he rugby? Oh, yeah. You know your rugby, yeah, don't you? I don't know, know anything do. about football, but you know your rugby. No, yeah. No, fuck um, all. Just um, some nice rock and roll vocabulary there. Fuck all. That yeah. means nothing. <laughs> um, yeah. Just after England won the World Cup, actually, the Rugby World Cup, um, I phoned for something and said, oh, I'm Martin Johnston. And they said, what? The Martin Johnson? I didn't quite hear, and I just thought they said, like, John Stoon, and I was like, yeah, this is the real Martin Johnston, yeah. So I'm already famous. <laughs> they said, the England what, uh, the England rugby captain? Oh, okay, no, no, that's not me. I'm the other one. <laughs> the other one, you know, the, the other really famous one. <laughs> the one from Chelmsford. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, so my name, Johnson, I remember under-14s, my football team, I won Player of the Year, got a fantastic trophy, and it says to Martin Johnson. Oh, that is a killer. Absolute Ab- killer. Absolute killer. I even got a wedding invitation just last week. Had Mrs. Rock and Roll English's name on there. Then it said Martin Johnson. And again, I just thought, why? Why? <laughs> Unbelievable. It's, it's horrible. Maybe, though, if Boris gets famous, it will make spelling my name in Italy a little bit easier. Because when people say, what's your surname? And I say Johnston. <laughs> they just look at me like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? That You come from an, another planet. <laughs> uh. So that hopefully might make things a little bit easier. But so talking about Boris, some of the other things that he's done. He was uh, mayor of London before. Mm-hmm. 
in the past. Maybe people don't know that. I'm not sure. I remember when he won like the election to be the mayor of London and Boom Boom Cannon phoning me and saying, I just don't know if democracy works. <laughs> That was when he was mayor of London. Now he's fucking prime minister. Was that Jesus. when you guys were living in London together? Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, I remember I was out and Boom Boom phoned me and said, look, we need a new system. What are we oh. going to do? Oh, don't even get me started. Brexit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, apparently, so speaking about Brexit, he was one of the obviously big Brexiteers. Mm. Brexiteer, I think that's what you say. Yeah. Um. And he's apparently said, no, I'm going to make a new deal with Europe. Europe have said, look, this is it. It's this or nothing. And he said, I've got a good feeling that I can convince them for a new deal. <laughs> oh okay. God. Literally that man sure. is just clueless. Exactly. Clueless. So some nice rock and roll vocabulary there as well. Like hasn't got a clue, has no idea of basically anything yeah to think he's in charge now of the brexit negotiations is worrying very worrying um when he was mayor of london though apparently he blew millions on a garden bridge project so when i say he blew millions he wasted millions because he had planned some new bridge in london spent 43 million pounds and then nothing happened and just said leh Let's just leave that. Let's just leave that and just <laughs> just waste just waste that money. I mean, I think about three, four days ago, I bought some chicken and then I left it in the fridge for too long and then it went off. So when food goes off, you can't eat it. Yeah. And I'm still, you know, thinking about I wasted that money that I bought for the chicken. I mean, he fucking wasted 43 million. Oh, my God. Do you know what? That's really sad. As someone that works in us in the state school system, well, we haven't even got enough money to like provide like glue sticks for kids day to day. Like, true sorry, and there's forty three million just gone on a bridge. Didn't even happen. But I, I love the way you're playing the poverty card. So when I say I playing the poverty card, like saying, "What a terrible life you live in this school where you can't buy any glue." But, you know, you're you're rocking up with, your, what is it, Mercedes? Just right. your Mercedes? Uh, yeah, okay, that's me. But I'm talking about the the, the education system and our students. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. admittedly, I might have an all right car, but... You, you, I'll tell you what you can do. Sell your Mercedes and buy some glue sticks for the students in your yeah. school, okay? Right. That's what okay. a real teacher would do. Yeah, okay? all right. <laughs> Um, so apparently as well, he recently had a blazing row with his partner, so a blazing row, like a really big argument. Um, and they said lots of stuff. But the thing that I found shocking about the story is so Boris Johnson is 55. His girlfriend is 31. Well, that's younger than me. Younger than you. That's exactly what I was thinking. Would you ever think of leaving Mr. Clarification Charlie for Boris? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine having sex with Boris? Could oh, you just imagine God. that? <laughs> oh, my God. It would just be vile. Oh, God. Even I'm thinking about it. Just having his big, fat body all over me. <laughs> oh, and that hair <laughs> flopping around. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, geez. That's not... I think people have just switched off now <laughs> just with that image <laughs> in their head. Plus, as well... Just in case people don't know, Mr. Clarification Charlie. Now that is a man. Poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> you would not be swapping him for Boris. No yeah, one would. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Boris as well apparently was questioned once because there was some speculation that he had done some cocaine. And apparently he said, yes, um, I did. But I think it was just icing sugar. <laughs> Oh, Boris. <laughs> Boris, Boris, Boris. I think, Boris, there's you can probably tell the difference between icing sugar and cocaine. I mean, icing sugar, I mean, I imagine that's that's nice. Put that on a cake. You're loving it. Delicious. Yeah. So, again, n nice try, Boris, but not sure, not sure if we believe that. Um, he's also apparently compared the European Union to um, Hitler to Hitler's regime. I'm sure we all know about that that guy, Hitler. 
He said, um, trying to unify Europe isn't going to work. That's what Hitler tried, and it ended tragically. Oh Very God. much the same. So I'm sure that's the reason for Brexit. <sighs> like, vote Brexit, because otherwise it's just going to be the same story as all that Hitler stuff. Uh, honestly, this is the leader of our country. Uh, it, it's, it's just so embarrassing, isn't it? That's the thing. Just think, he... he Him and Trump. Well... Exactly. Well, I'm, not, I'm not so bothered about Trump because, you know, he represents America. They can they can do what they want, those bloody Americans. But he represents England now. So go into like meetings and stuff like that. Plus, it's undemocratic. No one actually voted for him. The Americans no. at least voted for Trump. You know, I didn't vote for Boris. No one did. None, none of the public voted for him. It's just like, OK, Theresa May's leaving said, OK, I've had enough. We'll just get a new one in. Don't. Don't worry about voting. It's okay. We'll just bring someone else in. Okay, that sounds absolutely brilliant. Thanks a lot. Oh, unbelievable. Exactly. Um, speaking of Trump, um, Johnson had, has slagged him off quite a lot, actually. So when you slag someone off, it's when you talk badly about them, like behind their back when they're not there. Um, called him extremely ignorant and lots of other things. And then there was a picture of them recently, like shaking hands, like giving each other a pat on the back. <laughs> the the thing is, as well, he says stuff and then it's in public, though. So I don't know how he can then say, no, I didn't say that because it's there's a public record of it. Honestly, the amount of times he's gotten himself into bother for saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. There was even, there used to be like a comedy sketch and it was based around Boris and him saying like the most inappropriate things at the wrong time. This is what, this is what our country has done to our, our lead, like, you know, sort of, this is like eight years previous, but that man is now leading our country. He is a joke. Exactly. But... At least it's good podcast material. So yeah. I was thinking today, we, we had arranged what to talk about. And I was thinking, oh, fuck, what are we going to talk about? And then someone said to me, do you know, the new prime minister has been announced. It's Boris Johnson. And I said, oh, for fuck's sake. And then I said, oh, I'll talk about that on the podcast, though. So, you know, every cloud okay. well, has a silver lining. Boom Boom's happy he's not living in the UK now, eh? He thought it was bad exactly. enough he was the mayor of London. Imagine how he feels with him being prime minister. Exactly. That's why he's left, I'm sure. Oh. Um, I used some rock and roll vocabulary there, by the way, when I said um, every cloud has a silver lining. So in every bad thing, there's always something good. Um, a few years ago as well, apparently he used to be a journalist and he got sacked from that because he just made up a story that wasn't true. So remember, when you make something up, you just invent it. So, you know, what's the problem with that? Um, and then when he, after he got sacked, he was talking with a friend. The conversation got recorded, apparently, about beating up another journalist. So when you beat someone up, you physically attack them. And he apparently asked his friend, how badly are you going to hurt him? Oh. And then his friend, the enforcer, let's say, so the enforcer, the one that was going to be doing the punching, said, not seriously hurt, just a couple of black eyes and maybe a cracked rib. <laughs> so oh the rib God. is sort of like, you know, like in the upper part of your body. Just a cracked rib. You know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to crack his rib. <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly. And, you know, but that's all that's Prime Minister material for you. Um, and just so Boris knows, I myself have suffered a few black eyes in my time. And I can tell you, Boris, that it's serious. OK, <laughs> it's serious. It happened in a very, very close amount of time within the space of about three months. I think I got three black eyes, like what one a month. <laughs> 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 just just for just for time for the black eye to go away and then it will come back just so people know as well black eye so if someone punches you in the face and then your eye goes black <laughs> um need well in zero of those occasions did i instigate it so when you instigate something you start it i was very much just being used as a human punch bag <laughs> for a few months <laughs> Wrong place, wrong time, Martin. Well, that's it. Well, the first time in particular, I was just on the dance floor and then this very large gentleman, um, let's call him a gentleman, kicked a friend of mine in the back. I looked to my left to see him, noticed he was about 25 metres tall and 25 metres wide and thought, you know, 
I'd best not say anything here. So there's some nice vocabulary. I'd best not. It's a good idea if I don't. So I just said, Let, let's just calm down, shall we? Bang. Punch in the face. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Let's go for a beer sometime. Give me a number. Oh, you God. seem like a ni- you seem like a really nice guy. <laughs> so that's Boris for you. It's, it's, a, it's a depressing vibe today, isn't it? Depressing it is. vibe. It is. That's the country that I'm living in. You know? Yeah. Um, Brexit and Boris. Brexit and Boris. Yeah, that that could be a um, newspaper headline. That's that's quite good actually. B&B. B&B, yeah. Notice, by the way, we're recording this on Tuesday when the news was announced because from Tuesday to Monday, I'm sure Boris has done lots of stupid things and said lots of stupid things, which we haven't been able to report on. But as I said, it's great podcast material. So I'm sure we will talk about him again soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, thanks a lot for your time, Clarification Charlie. That is okay. It's lovely to speak to you again. You too. Speak to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Okay, so that was me and Clarification Charlie talking about Mr. Boris Johnson. So let's have a look at some of that rock and roll vocabulary, which, remember, is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com, episode number 161. Um, I said that she had a memory of a goldfish. We've had that before. An episode even has that name, memory of a goldfish. Someone that cannot remember things very well, let's say. Then we had a couple of pieces of rock and roll vocabulary from the review, one of which was let's stop this dry patch. So a dry patch is an unsuccessful period. A footballer, maybe, a striker that doesn't score a few goals for a few games, that is a dry patch. Um, We also had a piece of vocabulary which neither I nor Clarification Charlie had ever heard of, which was ameliorate my listening skills, which apparently means to improve, to make better. So... I've said it once, I'll say it again. Every day is a school day for all of us, for me as well. Clarification, Charlie also said she knows fuck all about rugby, so she knows nothing. We said it was a very topical show, so we talk about things in the news. I then described Boris as a Brexiteer, so the Brexiteers are the people that were the leaders behind the Brexit campaign. The bastard. Um, Clarification, Charlie then described him as being clueless. So if you are clueless, you are without a clue. You have no idea what you're doing. Sometimes like me with the podcast, I'm a bit clueless. I just kind of make things up as I go along. Um, I also said that he blew millions on a garden bridge project. So if you blow money on something, you waste money on something. I then spoke about the chicken in my fridge that went off so when something goes off it's no longer good and this is especially used for food you leave food out too long what happens it goes off i then said um, that clarification charlie was playing the poverty card so think about this if you're playing a card game and then she used the one that said poverty on it and we also mentioned that boris had a blazing row with his partner so row argument blazing very big lots of shouting We also said that he um, slagged Trump off. So when you slag someone off, you talk about them badly. We also said every cloud has a silver lining. So in every bad thing, there is something good. We had the term beat up when he was talking about beating up a journalist. So to physically attack someone. Then we were talking about me getting beaten up a few times. And I said I didn't instigate the fight. I didn't start the fight. And then when it happened, I thought, I'd best not say anything here. Notice that grammar. I'd best not say. Oh, baby, that is some rock and roll grammar. Anyway, remember, all of this is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com, episode number 161. And remember, my book is now available to buy on Amazon so you can read and rock. Anyway, thanks a lot for listening, everyone. I will see you all again next week. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.